A fatal Warren police car chase last week has a mother wondering what happened and talking with lawyers about suing the department. And Warren police saying tonight it was a legitimate stop and they say the driver was the problem. They rolled out this dash cam video this afternoon, which they say shows proof. Rod Maloney live in Warren tonight with a first look at that video. Rod. Yeah, we're at the PD here, and, you know, the, the mom, the mother of this young man who died in that crash, reached out to Local 4 saying that she felt that the Warren PD killed her son, that they mischaracterized precisely what happened, that he didn't have a gun, and so this was Warren PD's response. Day after Christmas, a red Chevy Cruze goes by a Warren scout car at Van Dyke and Stevens. Officers check the license plate and pull the vehicle over. 24-year-old Maurice Octavius Kelly, who had previously served prison time for theft and felony firearms behind the wheel. So the reason I stopped is because the plate's expired. Yeah, I'm just going to work. Oh, yeah? Um, is this your car? No, it's my girlfriend. Girl it down. Okay. Kelly's license had been suspended. He also had a misdemeanor traffic arrest warrant. So the officer asks... What I gotta have you do is just hop off of me real quick, man, because you don't have your license on you, okay? No, 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 no. And the chase is on. It goes for several minutes. Kelly driving on the grass, dodging other Warren police cars assisting. Kelly drives on the sidewalk and back on the grass in front of an apartment complex before screaming down Warren's streets, thankfully empty of regular daytime traffic. The video shows the crews running a red light and then slamming into a Penske rental box truck. Okay. Into a uh, box truck. He's underneath the box truck. Now, Kelly's mother had told Local 4 in an email that Warren PD used a pit maneuver to push his vehicle into the truck. The video shows that that is not the case. She also claimed he didn't have a gun. Warren PD showed this Glock they say was found in the vehicle. Today, Warren Police Commissioner Bill Dwyer saying... It's a very unfortunate incident. Is this, this subject is dead due to the choice he made to flee from the officers. Now, just a little while ago, we received an email from the Kelly family attorney, and they say that, uh, actually the email says, the grieving family is trying to collect information to find out how this horrible situation occurred. They ask police agencies revisit their high-speed chase policies because of the inherent dangers involved. Back to you. Rod, what did the commissioner have to say? Did he respond to the family's concerns? Well, yes, he, he said that he believes that his officers acted properly, that they followed the, the police department's policy, and he believes it was a good and legitimate stop. Okay. All right, Rod, keep us posted. Thank you.